After spending five days filming in the Scottish mountains, I decided to have a lie in. And then I thought, do you know what? I can't be bothered. So this is the car park I'm at, at Alligan, for Ben Alligan. Gonna um, pick up a burn, well a river actually, and follow it up for about half a mile before I start cutting off to the path up to Alligan. So the weather's beautiful, early November, it's about 10 degrees, and this weather's supposed to stay with us for about four days, so very lucky. For sighting of Allegan. And if I spin round, you've got Ben Gerag as well, which is a Corbett, that one there. So, you can see where I'm going to go up, up there. Okay. So, I've just left the wood now, uh, and I'm getting up to a good path now. Just off the path I was distracted with a waterfall coming off Ben Alligan, but I couldn't hang around too long and rejoin the path. Look at on. So now on the upward path, this is where the real work starts. Finally at the split now, that way for me and that way for Flowerdale. Now leaving the junction I set off on a third path to the foot of Ben Alligan. So here I am at the foot of Ben Alligan and if I just turn round the sun's just peeping over Leak. Once again over there that's Ben Gerag. So alright, big climb up there now so I better get cracking. Okay, fan the up. Really windy. There's the Owens in front. Flowerdale Forest and Shield Egg Forest. Well, wow, you can go see out to Gerlock. Whoa. Okay, I've still got some up and down to do here. Now, after sheltering behind a rock for five minutes and having a flask of coffee, I got up and set off for Skewer Moor. So I'm about halfway around now, it's getting really windy and as you can see in front, there's a sting in the tail before I get up to the first Munro skewer moor. Are we nearly there yet? It's a bit flowing but we've made it! Skewer moor! Woo! Look at the views! 
Look at this. Right out to sea. All the way over to Gaelock and the sands. Into Flowerdale. Two Corbett's there. And another one there. A wild camp that one. So Okay, I'm leaving Skewermore now. I'm gonna get back down again to town the to Kruki, the second Munro. And down the bee light I decided to grab some lunch with a view. It's just a shame it's gone a bit hazy now. I mean that's Isle of Sky over there. And but it just doesn't stand out so good today, being so hazy. Okay, I'm um, starting to descend now, down that path there, up to the next Monroe, which is up there, quite a way. No rush. Well, I said no rush, but looking at that, it still looks quite a long way to go yet. And quite an high climb back up. Okay, better get cracking. It's quite windy, but if you look back there, that's still more of what I achieved this morning. It looks miles away. And after another 10 minute steep climb, finally made it. Here we are. As I finally stepped up to touch the trig point of town the Kruki, I found that great sense of achievement of bagging my second Munro. One last look at the views before I go, it's come a bit overcast now, once again that's where I came from this morning, so I'm going to start making my way down now, okay. Always sad to leave but now was the time to pick up a path from the southeast before it started to go dark. Okay, I'm about halfway down now, so I've got to get down there and I'm ready for a coffee. After finally descending for another 15 minutes, I was more or less down onto the flat with great views over to Loch Torrid. Well, more or less down now. It's going dark. It's about quarter past four. So I hope you enjoyed Allegan, the two Munros, and um, I will definitely be going on another mission tomorrow so I will get down to the trees where I started this morning and say thanks very much again for watching and I hope you enjoyed it I'll leave you with a view of Loch Torridon